Hey everyone, I am Tracker Mike with Michigan Deer Track and Hounds. Uh, everybody seemed to like our series that we've been doing on uh, eye tracking and following blood, different sign. Um, so we decided we are going to move into sharing what we do and our knowledge on training tracking dogs. Um, I'll start out by saying there is, you know, as many different ways to train as there is breeds of dogs. So what we will be putting out is what has worked for us, what we use, our methods, our theories behind them, um, and everything that we've learned over the past decade or more in training tracking dogs and handling tracking dogs in the field. Um, here in Michigan, it is just starting to turn to spring. There is some snow on the ground. Um, it is a perfect time of year to start a dog or get in, get back into the routine of training because this actually emulates what we see in, uh, the hunting season. You know, we have snow some days, we'll have some mud some days, we'll have some dry ground some days. We'll have temperatures ranging from, you know, the teens all the way up to 60 degrees this time of year, which is really what we see during hunting season. So this is a perfect time to get out and get your dog going. Um, the first part of this series, we will start with some basics of priming your dog for training. All right, guys, as we get going here, we're going to run through three basic commands. We are going to run through a sit, a stay, and a leave it command. So we're gonna incorporate our hand signals with that so our dog gets the idea that they don't need to hear a command in order to know what we're asking of them. So for our hear command, um, we're gonna start with, always start with the animal's name, getting their attention, and a look. So our look command goes from the dog's nose or at the dog if they're far away up to our chin until they make eye contact. That primes us for our next command, which is going to be a sit. A sit command, we go from their nose, treat in hand, cupped like that so they can't take it, from their nose, up over their head until they sit. As Soon as their butt hits the ground, we reward them. Our stay command is going to be hand in our treat like that so they can see it. It's going to be a stay. Our goal here is to be able to walk 360 degrees around the dog and have them not move. Our leave it command, we are going to take the treat. We are going to drop it. We're going to give the leave it command. We are going to drop it at our foot. If the dog moves, we're going to cover the treat with our foot. If the dog doesn't move, we do not give them this treat. We will have another treat in our hand. We will give them the treat out of our hand. Then we collect the treat off the ground. The treat on the ground for the leave it. We're trying to teach the dog that no matter what, you're not touching that. You get your reward from me. So we're gonna use Franklin, our two-year-old bloodhound here to, as our demonstrator. And let's get this rocking and rolling. Franklin, look. Here. Franklin, sit. Sit. Good, yes, if we were just doing a sit, you would reward them as soon as they hit the ground. Now we're gonna do the stay, hand forward. Franklin, stay. We're gonna keep our hand up, especially in the early, so they know what we're asking. We do not want him to move out. We'll start over. Stay. Our goal, like I said, is to get all the way around the dog. When you're first starting this, just try a stay with no movement. Um, you know, work your time up. Good stay, yes. Reiterate that command. Give them the treat. We're gonna come back here. Oh, I'm out of treats. All right, we will grab another treat. Here we go. Franklin, look. Sit. Stay, leave it. Good, leave it, yes, good boy. And that is your sit, stay, and leave it. Have fun with that. Get your dog primed and ready to understand what you're asking of them, and good luck, and we look forward to you in the next video.